Hi everyone! My last two videos have featured the groups Eunice and Eilid and discussed their early impact and what they might be able to tell us about the future of this generation of K-pop girl groups. I created the Eilid video before all the news came out about them, about Min Hee Jin, about New Jeans, and all of these accusations and press conferences. I did mention that just because a group starts with a perfect all kill on their debut song, it doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing. But I never thought they would face this kind of drama so soon. I know the rumors are fascinating, and it's always fun to gossip and speculate. But I do hope that both members of New Jeans and Eyelid are doing okay. This is tough. And same goes for other groups being pulled into the mess. Speaking of mess, let's get to today's topic. Baby Monster! Joking, of course, but before all of this hype drama, I think Baby Monster was the fifth generation group driving the most debate and discussion. Let's get into it. Baby Monster had been highly anticipated for ages before we even knew who the members were. Most fans knew that YG was preparing for a new girl group as the clock was running out on Blackpink's contracts. And most people knew that their name was going to be Baby Monster as early as 2020. One of those K-pop rumors that came true. In 2022, we got the first hints that this was really happening with the YG Next Movement trailer right around New Year's. YG used all their existing assets to promote the new group including Wiener, Akmu, Treasure, choreographer Lee Jung, and of course, Blackpink. But it wasn't till 2023 that things really started heating up for Baby Monster. Like so many groups before them, including Eunice and Eyelid, Baby Monster's selection process was broadcast in a show called Last Evaluation. Unlike Universe Ticket and Are You Next, Last Evaluation focused only on the young YG trainees and their journey to become the final group that formed Baby Monster. A little more like the documentary that profiled the creation of XG. The show was pretty standard stuff. Lots of hard work, lots of crying curls, and lots of worries over who would be chosen for the final group. In this case, YG pulled a classic JYP move, publicly stating that only five would debut and causing lots of discussion over the planned cuts. In the end, YG selected all seven, calling Rora and Asa the fan choices. Very similar to what happened in JYP 16, where Momo was cut but then brought back to join the final group, along with other fan favorite, Tui. The process for Baby Monster seems like it was a little less dramatic. I still have trouble watching the videos of Momo being cut. The group's final lineup is Ahyon, Rami, and Rora, all from Korea. Ruka and Asa from Japan, and Farida and Shikita from Thailand. This mix is consistent with the global perspective of most fit generation groups, and quite similar to Eunice. The final episode of Last Evaluation featured a mashup of 21 songs with a now iconic choreography from Lee Jung. Many idols and fans did challenges with the song and Baby Monster member Chiquita went viral for her section. Both Chiquita and Farida have lots of support from Thai idols and Thai fans. Blackpink Lisa has mentioned supporting them in interviews and was featured talking with them in the show. They quickly dropped a pre-release single called Dream which made the mild impact but did drive up subscribers for their YouTube channel. But then, things got a little confusing. 
Baby Monster released Batter Up in November 2023, followed by Dream in February 2024. But member Ion was absent from the group, causing intense speculation on her future. Of those two singles, Better Up was more successful, with strong choreography. Some fans thought it sounded a little too close to Blackpink and 21 before them, but generally, it was well received. Except, again, it was confusing because fans weren't sure if this was a debut or something else. People wondered why there was so little promotion for Better Up and why the members of Baby Monster weren't really doing anything publicly. Which brings us to today. Baby Monster's most recent release is Sheesh, and it's now being referred to as their debut by some people. I think because Ahyeon has now recovered from her health issues and returned to the group. Sheesh featured choreography from Bad Ali, the virally popular winner of Street Woman Fighter Season 2, and a super experienced choreographer from songs like Rover and lots of Espa's title tracks. Got them all going. Sheesh! 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 Yeah, be happy while I'm on it. We also see Baby Monster doing more appearances now. They recently appeared on M Countdown to perform Sish and took the rare step of performing with a live band. Baby Monster has the entire YG machine behind them, and although YG definitely had a few failures and missteps, both Blackpink and 21 were huge. I know Blinks and especially Blackjacks aren't super happy with them, but YG does have a track record of success overall with girl groups. And that's partly why there are so many expectations on Baby Monster. I think what they need most is time. Time to get comfortable and blaze their own trail without being loaded down with the weight of those expectations. We never know what the future will bring. I mean, look at the past week of news coming out from Hive. All I know is that Baby Monster is just as talented and hardworking as the other groups in the fit generation. And I can't wait to see what they do next. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. This is Lace. Till next time. Bye!